Hi, I'm Greg. Today I'm going to be tying a fly of mine called the Mini Hot. It's an umpqua pattern and I tie it in a few different colors. Today we're going to do it in a fluorescent yellow which makes for a great uh, little golden stone fly, dry fly, or a yellow sally as we call them. Um, you can also do it in a fluorescent orange which uh, kind of a little stimulator color Fluorescent green, again, a uh, great little high water pattern. Wood duck, which is probably the most natural color. It works really well uh, for a caddis imitation. And then for some fun stuff up in uh, Montana, a lot of guys are fishing purple. And here in Colorado, we're using a lot of purple as well. So it's a, another color you can add to this. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with my thread. Again, about 75% point of the hook. And then the next material I'm going to put on is this micro tubing. It's in clear. Sometimes if you let your thread stay there for too long, it'll come undone. Also, maybe I didn't have the right thread tension. Make a wrap, get this on top of the hook. And at this point, I'm just going to pull the tubing tightly. I'm going to bring my thread all the way back past the Barb of the hook, maybe about four wraps, and I'm going to just stop. At this point, we're going to add a little tag or a butt to this fly, and I'm going to use some flashaboo. And the colors I normally use will be either red or a Kelly green, depending on what color we're tying up. Get it right to where it's right above the barb of the hook. Wrap that forward. I'll wrap this flashaboo. Trying to avoid the tip of my hook and not cut this fragile material. Come to where it's right above the Barb, unwrap my thread, three wraps, and I can tie that back in. Now at this point, I'm just going to bring my thread all the way back up to where I tied in the tubing. Now I've left that tubing there just as a visual. I'm going to come back, and what I'm actually going to do at this point is build a taper to this body. So if after tying a bunch of these, I've figured out if I kind of build this, take this little section of this body here and break it up into quarters. So I'm going to bring my thread back about a quarter and then right back up to that tag. Back down another quarter. Back up. About another quarter. And now I'm going to take it all the way down to the tag. Of course, if you feel like your thread's getting too wound up, you can counter spin that, your bobbin, and now we'll flatten out that thread a little nicer. I can bring this right back up to the tie in point. At this point, I'm just going to clip that off. Then I'm going to grab the tubing 
and I'm going to cover the entire body, the tag, and all those thread wraps. Just work, work my way up. One wrap in front of the previous wrap. And now I can tie this off. Give it a few wraps, maybe three, four wraps, just in case if I bump my bobbin, I'll end up with about a piece of tubing an eighth of an inch long and I'd never be able to uh, retie that all on. By wrapping that body with this tubing, what it does is it really makes the color pop and then also it makes for a very durable fly and also uh, less uh, water can get in there and waterlog it up. Next thing I've done is I've grabbed some prism dubbing, some SLF. This is in a sand color. I've just pulled a few pieces out and I've pulled and stacked so that I've gotten it all in going in the right direction. I'm going to make a wrap right here. Then I'm going to fold those pieces that were heading forward straight back. Now at this point those are all trapped and they're in there nice and tight. I could come right back and snip those off. Well, the next thing I have done is I've prepped some Nature Spirit deer hawk. The hawk is the leg of the animal. It's a little finer material. And in this case I've used a bleached hawk that I've cut off the hide and cleaned. I'll lay that right on top of the hook. Just like we did on the Mother's Day caddis, I'm going to spin my thread, tighten it all up, make a couple of wraps, pull that toward myself, make sure it's tight. I'm going to work my thread through those butts, ensuring that it's tied on nicely and it's not going to roll on me. Separate those, get the butts from the nice even tips. At this point I'm going to go in and cut that close to the hook shank. Got one more little butt there, pull that out. Make sure nothing's sitting over on the far side of the hook. And at this point, I'm just going to clean this little thorax area up. And wrap back onto the body to ensure I don't have any gaps between my abdomen of the fly and also my thorax. Next piece, I have some uh, dyed yellow hackle. I'm going to cut those back webby section off and come in here and I'm going to pull some fibers off to have a bare stem. I've pulled enough of this off so that what's going to happen is 
I'm going to tie this in on my side of the hook. I'm going to tie it in so that it's right back behind the eye, up the thorax, and then enough bare stem so that when I wrap my hackle, the hackle's going to stand straight up versus shooting backwards. Next I'm going to grab some bright yellow SLF dubbing. It's not going to take a lot, but I do kind of get it going in the same direction so I don't uh, have any big clumps in there. A little dubbing wax. This is a coarse dubbing, so a little wax helps. Like any time you dub, a little bit of dubbing on a lot of hook, or I should say thread, is the way to go. So make sure that's on there nice and tight. Then I'm going to dub this on, go up the hill here, and then right back down. We'll grab our hackle, pull it up perpendicular to the hook, grab the tip. As I wrap this forward, try to get as many wraps in here as I can. Again, this is going to make for a little bit more buoyant fly. Build a little head if you'd like. Point. I'm just going to whip finish. There we have a little yellow Sally mini hot, great little attractor pattern. You can fish it on tailwaters. If you want something that's a little more bright, a little smaller than your regular stimulator. And I really like that uh, little hot butt or tag on this fly. It uh, reminds me a little bit of uh, some steelhead flies, which I'm very fond of.